In today's video, I wanna show you one of the most underrated route concepts from the Gun Bunch formation. And this route concept is going to be really, really good in Madden 24, uh, based off kind of what we've seen about the beta. Now I'm in the West Coast Bunch playbook, and I believe that this is gonna be one of the better playbooks because it has the stock blocking of the tight end. It also has some really critical routes that I think you're gonna need in Madden 24, a lot of different types of post routes, different types of corner routes, and the play we're gonna take a look at today is the play Deep Attack. Now, this is truly my favorite play out of Gun Bunch because this post kind of resembles a little bit about what we used to be able to do with the play uh, Dig HB Out or Z Spot back in some of the older Maddens. So what we're gonna do with this setup here is we're gonna create essentially a slant post concept from Bunch where we're gonna be our, utilizing our um, solo wide receiver as our post, okay? So what we're gonna do, and just gonna set up kind of a standard cover zero coverage, uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our tight end, and our tight end is unbumpable, and we're gonna put him on a slant because he's unbumpable. It's gonna be uh, very difficult for them to press him, and then we're going to utilize this um, slot receiver as a clear out route. So it's gonna clear out any kind of quarter zone or middle third zone where we can throw this post route deep in the middle of the field. And then we're just gonna motion this out or this in route out and let him set his feet and then we're gonna snap the ball. Uh, what you'll see here is this tight end slant will do a really, really good job. Now another really cool part about this tight end slant is one of the more common coverages we're getting uh, right now out of bunch, especially if they're gonna send some pressure, would basically be uh, cross manning the solo wide receiver and then having a hard flat underneath coverage of that player. So it'll look something like this and they might try to send a little heat with that as well. The beauty of this slant route as opposed to like a drag for example, is the slant um, is going to be able to beat hard flat. So you're gonna see here, he's gonna run his route, he's gonna be open. I gotta wait a little bit more on that route to develop, um, but he should be really, advantageous for us because they, they're not going to be able to run hard flats. And so because they're not going to be able to run hard flats, now they're going to have to get into some different things that they're going to have to do with their zone drops to stop this. So see here, pass lead that to the left. And as you can see, I just got to catch it, uh, but he's open. Okay. So that's kind of a part, a piece of this. And uh, this is one of the, like I said, one of the main ways people are trying to defend a uh, bunch right now is through a coverage that looks something uh, like this. And then obviously they're using man coverage on the right side. Now uh, with this route to Carmichael, if you want it to be a little bit more consistent against man to man, you can put him on a slant and snap the ball right before he sets. You'll see here, he'll light up and he'll be able to be thrown consistently um, against man to man coverage. But really what we're trying to utilize that route for is uh, situationally when they start to go to a coverage that looks kind of like this um on that sideline over there and then again you know typically what you're going to get is some type of double flat uh based off of where you're at on the field so because of that setup this uh streak is going to kind of manipulate this vertical hook and it's going to pull him back over the middle and then as you can see here i don't know how that was like one of the worst throws i've ever seen from Ryan rogers um but basically this this uh deep post is gonna basically create a high low in the middle of the field. So you're gonna have this streak that's gonna clear out that middle third defender. I don't know why I'm getting these random bumps, but as you can see, that is gonna be wide open in the middle of the field, okay? The beauty of that being wide open in the middle of the field is it's gonna be kind of the ultimate check down uh, because typically the user is gonna have to go to the slant and then they're gonna have to make a decision. Are they gonna guard the post or are they gonna guard this backside little in route that we're gonna have as a check down? If they choose to stay underneath, then we're gonna have that post consistently against literally every coverage in the game. It doesn't matter what zone they run, that post is gonna get open. Now, if you guys do uh, are enjoying the video and you wanna learn more about the gun bunch, uh, join the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to become a Patreon member and it'll get you access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive eBooks. So if you're not in the Patreon yet, I uh, would really encourage you to join it. You can click the link in the description to sign up uh, to check that out. Now, if they use the deep post route, you're gonna see now the slant's gonna pull all of the zones underneath and then we're just gonna be able to check down to this backside little dig route that we have coming underneath the formation. 
So in a way, this play kind of offers us really, really good spacing uh, over the middle of the field, and it really will do a good job against any kind of double Mabel zone uh, or really, really any kind of coverage, um, depending on what they want to do. As you see right here, I mean, he's just wide open over the middle of the field. Now, the one thing that you might want to do, uh, and you're seeing I'm kind of having some little tricks uh, with throwing this route, one of the things you might need to do with this play is re-put him on an in route just to make sure that the in route continues to run over the middle of the field. So you see right here, he'll continue to run, and then you can throw it. And as you can see, um, it can be a great little check down for you. Last little piece of this is like I said in the beginning, um, if they are going to play hard flats and they do decide to go user that post route, what that does is it also leaves this tight end wide open late in the play. So your reads are going left. Okay, the user's over there. I'm looking back to my in route. You see he jumps the in route, and now I can check down to the tight end. This is truly one of the best gun bunch passing concepts in Madden every single year. It's going to be really good in Madden 24. If you want to learn more about how to run the gun bunch in Madden, join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. It'll get you access to all of my updated Madden offensive and defensive eBooks for whatever year of Madden that you're playing. You get access to everything by becoming a member. You can sign up by clicking the link down in the description below.